What the fuck? <laughs> the the confidence, the the skill, the the showmanship to play a guitar with one hand in the air. Welcome back to another deep dive with Derek. I'm your host, Derek. My friends call me D-Rock, which means you can call me D-Rock. And if you're new here, I want to personally welcome you to the channel. On this channel, I take a look at music and poetry and other forms of art through the lens of meaningful living, through the lens of purpose, through the lens of mindfulness, resilience, uh, things like that. I'm also taking a look at, uh, you know, deeper tracks, things that don't get as much attention maybe as they deserve. Uh, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Um, consider subscribing if you're new here. Uh, if you like what you see, if you don't like what you see, that's okay too. So today I'm checking out Bruce Springsteen and Tom Morello, The Ghost of Tom Jode. If I'm not saying that right, let me know. Uh, this is a recommendation from my friend Howard, the same guy who got me into Ren. He is the same uh, rock star, magician, musician, an all-around good dude who who's suggested a lot of different things for me. So, Bruce Springsteen, I, I of course I know Bruce Springsteen. I never really got much into his music. In fact, <laughs> this is maybe crazy to admit. I think that him and Mellencamp are the same person. I think it's the same stuff. So I always confuse those two. Tom Morello, I grew up sort of listening to Rage Against the Machine. Uh, Evil Empire was an album, the album that I had. Uh, and it was really cool stuff. And I also started Tom Morello's master class on guitar playing. I thought it was going to be how to play guitar. It was not. There was a lot of prerequisites. That was way over my head. But I know Tom Morello does a lot of goofy things on the guitar. By goofy, I mean crazy cool things on the guitar. Um, so let's check it. I, I know really nothing of this. So I'm excited to get into it. So let's go. Oh, there's a violin. Been walking along the railroad tracks. Gone some places, no going back. Highway patrol choppers coming up over the ridge. Hot soup on a campfire under the bridge Shelter line stretching around the corner Welcome to the new world order Family sleeping in their cars in the southwest No home, no job, no peace, no rest Well, the highway is alive tonight Oh, a time out here. I need to find some lyrics to this. So let me find that. Um, okay, I got the lyrics here. Um, I don't want to miss this, these lyrics. So, men walking on the tracks, going somewhere, no turning back. Highway patrol coming, hot soup on a campfire under the bridge. So these people are walking along. Uh, walking along the tracks, right, commuting somewhere. Family sleeping in cars in the southwest, no home, no job, no peace, no rest. I think that's where we stopped. Well, the highway is alive tonight. But nobody's kidding nobody about where it goes. I'm sitting down here in the campfire line. Searching for the ghost of Tom Jones. Is Tom going to sing? I don't think I've ever seen him sing. I'm pretty sure. Well, I know I haven't. I'm not, I'm not probably a big enough fan to, to know, but I'm... Here we go. I haven't, I did not expect this. People 
holds a prayer book out of his sleeping bag. Preacher lights up a butt and takes a tag. Waiting for the last shall be first and the first shall be last. In a cardboard box deep the underpants You got a one-way ticket to the promised land You got a hole in your belly and a gun in your hand Sleeping on a pillow of solid rock Bathing in the city's aqueduct He's going with his guitar solo. In my head, I was thinking that was going to be a violin solo. I did not want to interrupt that solo. For Tom, the, the way Tom was looking at Bruce indicates to me that this is a legit call and response. This is a legit improv, and not not the same canned, rehearsed solos, which makes it even more cool. There's an accordion back there. <laughs> Tom said, Come on, wherever there's a cop beating a guy, wherever a hungry newborn baby cries, where there's a fight against the blood and hatred in the air, look for me, Mom, I'll be there. Wherever somebody's fighting for a place to stand. For a decent job or a helping hand Wherever somebody's struggling to be free Look in their eyes, Ma, you'll see me There's a piano There's Rhythm guitar, I'm not sure what this third person in from the left is doing. There's that accordion. There's another guitar that must be maybe a bass. But there's a piano. Nobody, nobody am I wearing gold? I'm sitting down 
Here we go. He's about to. He's about to go off. He's got his pedals. Fuck <laughs> the the confidence, the the skill, the the showmanship to play a guitar with one hand in the air. <laughs> oh my gosh. Only he can make a guitar sound like turntables. Holy cow, that was a ride. That was good. Now, oh, okay. The song itself. So Tom Joad, and I and I forget, this is a reference to somebody from a very famous novel, or a very famous story, but I'm ignorant of that. But I don't think I need to know that. Sounds like this Tom Joad is a... A helper of some kind you know I, i'm the i'm the one fighting for justice right so i think there was some lines along the lines of of if if anybody needs me and he's talking to his mom here if, if anybody needs me if anybody needs anything look for me mom that's where i'm gonna be it's, they, they introduced that maybe two-thirds of the way through the verses which puts into context the first verses which is uh i'm sitting by a campfire down on my luck and I'm searching for Tom Joad or I'm searching for the ghost of Tom Joad and then because he's the one that's going to help people in need and I find myself in need and then at the end of the song it was uh, I found him right because I think they said with what was it yeah I think with the ghost of Tom Joad that's interesting and I, and I think much like a lot of this music this will this will soak in as I listen to it more and more. But then just the, the show, the musicianship. I am a sucker for improv, jams, jazz. I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. So when I see, what did I count? Eight? Eight instruments? Two guitars? A ukulele looking thing? A rhythm guitar? A bass? There was a, a an accordion and a violin and a piano and the drums. So at least nine instruments. That's something that's going to speak to me. Seeing the call and response, seeing these improv solos, seeing the 
seeing the artists, the musicians take this where just wherever it goes. That's that's super incredible. So this is a this is a fun show or a fun song. Um, but I want to hear from you. How did this? What does this song say to you? How do you feel about this song? And um, what what did I overlook? What did I miss? Let me know, uh, and I'll see you next time. Okay, so we are not done yet because my friend Howard also sent me a clip of Tom Morello being interviewed by Howard Stern about that performance, and 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 let's check it out. I don't want to. I don't know anything about it, so let's go. When you talk about you being a Bruce Springsteen fan, don't you get like the Br Bruce Springsteen fanzine? He is the only friend that I have to which I subscribe to a fanzine about. You know, so it's like, but like, but is it weird? Like when you're hanging out with Bruce and you're recording or, or doing a live yeah. show, do you have to control your enthusiasm to be cool, <laughs> like to like I, so that you I, don't become this I asshole? Would say the, who, I would say the first, the first, you know, twenty times or so, maybe that. But it has gotten to the place where it is, it is, it is more comfortable. The original Ghost of Tom Joad is like an acoustic ballad from his acoustic record. Then Rage did like a, uh, you know, ramped up Sabbathy version of that song. But the first time we actually played that song was in, in 2008. And he was making the magic record with Brendan O'Brien. I stopped by the studio and he said, you know, Tommy, you should come play with the E Street Band sometime. He said it as an offhand remark and I took it as scripture. So the next time, <laughs> the, the next time they were in, in Anaheim, I, you know, I called him up the day before and said, like, uh, remember when you said I should jam with the E Street Band? Uh, how about tomorrow night? And we agreed on Ghost of Tom Joe. Now, at the time, the only version of his that existed was the plaintive minor key ballad, right? Now, I have was as nervous for this as I've ever been for anything in, in my life. I've played many shows in many arenas and stadiums and things like that. I've never been more nervous than prior to this rehearsal. Explain so to me nervous, because you're a masterful musician. In other words, you know yeah. you're going there. You're going to play the, yeah. the Ghost of Tom Joad. I'm have over you, rehearsed have, for it. I'm over, and by I over rehearsed all night. And what do you do? Do you put the record on and play along with yeah. it? Is that how yeah, you rehearse? All night, all night long. I get down there. I'm down in catering. I hear the band rehearsing it. And to my surprise, Bruce has raised the key of the song by eight <laughs> steps. <laughs> now, now I no longer can play it and I no longer can sing it because I've got this, <laughs> you know, kind of rich milk chocolate baritone voice and it's too, it's too high for me now. So I go up there and I'm on stage and I don't know the chords. And I can't hit the notes. And it's my first time with my favorite artist on the stage. Right. And it's not going great. So Steve Van Zant, lovely dude, he comes over and he's like, you know, the way Steve, he's like, baby, baby. You know, I'm like, babe, there's no baby. It's bad right. baby because I don't know how to play the song. <laughs> but they don't call Bruce Springsteen the boss for nothing. So Bruce comes over. He recognizes my anxiety. He puts a hand on my shoulder. He says, Tommy. First of all, I think I love the fact that Bruce Springsteen calls me Tommy. It's awesome. <laughs> Does anyone else call you Tommy besides him? Mom, no. My mom calls uh, me Tommy. Yeah, so he puts uh, his hand on my shoulder, mm -hmm. looks me in the eye. He says, we're going to do it in this key, and it's going to be great. And I'm like, okay, well, thanks, Jedi Master Yoda. But I still don't know how to play it or sing it. But it does right. calm my nerves, and I recognize that there's, there's like 15 people in the E Street Band. They know the chords. I don't need to worry about that. Can right. I sing a song of social justice and meaning? Yes, I can. Can I play a guitar solo? I can do that too. So right. they surprised me with the key. So I decide to have a little surprise for the E Street Band. During the rehearsal on the stage, during sound check, I don't give anything away in the solo. I just play straight like Chuck Berry blues licks, you know, through, through right. the whole time. I pedal. I pedal. Downstairs, I'm down there, half a bottle of Jameson later. It's my turn to come up. I walk on the stage and we played a version of the song that really took us all completely by surprise and it was electric and the thing that bruce bruce is very generous in that you know i'm playing this crazy solo and he's just like keep going keep going keep going it's 82 bars the roof comes off the place and we looked at each other and i was like bruce uh you were right about the key after all <laughs> what's the right key for the song <laughs> that just goes to show you how talented all these people are and and you know, like I said earlier in the video, that ability to to see, I'm a little surprised that he didn't, that he was nervous. Well, one, that he was nervous about playing a song in a different key. He seems like the kind of guy that would be able to easily translate that. But then, because of what I just said, uh, I'm sure there's other people like me, and maybe that contributes to his anxiety about it. But then he opens up and says, look, i I'm scared about this. And he's got the courage to say that, which is awesome. And and the fact that he 
surprise him with that solo. And the boss says, nope, keep going. If you got more, keep it up. I love it. Anyway, good stuff. Thank you. I'll see you here next time.